My name is Anne Kavukian, and I resigned in protest from the Sidewalk Labs Smart City Project. Anne Kavukian is the former Privacy Commissioner of Ontario. She was hired by Sidewalk Labs to develop a privacy framework for their Smart City Project on Toronto's waterfront. Sidewalk Labs is an alphabet company and they are creating smart cities. And they bid on the smart city that was um, being proposed in Toronto, and they succeeded at that. So when they approached me, they approached me because they said they wanted me to embed privacy by design into the smart city they wanted to create for Toronto. There was gonna be tech everywhere, 24-7, uh, sensors and cameras and everything to capture all the activities in the smart city, in the city that was taking place, so that they could help you get from point A to point B and get you information. But you can imagine, if you have all these sensors and this tech on 24-7, it's gonna collect a lot of personal information, which the citizens aren't gonna want. So I wanted to embed privacy by design into the whole smart city in order to prevent the privacy harms from arising. And presented Sidewalk Labs with a list of recommendations to ensure privacy as a foundation for the proposal. So my main suggestion after I studied this for a while was we had to embed privacy into everything. We had to de-identify data at source. And what I meant was whenever the camera or the sensor or whatever tech picks up some occurrence, people driving, people walking on the street, whatever. Whenever it picks up any data, the minute it picks up the data, you strip it of all personal identifiers. You strip it of the license plate numbers on the cars, etc., so that you will still have a massive amount of data, but none of it will be privacy invasive because there won't be any personally identifiable data associated with it. No personal identifiers. See, that's what privacy is all about. You can have a ton of data. If it's not linked to personal identifiers that can be associated with an individual, then you have data, but there's no privacy risk. So that's why I insisted upon all data being collected, being de-identified at source. And it was great. Sidewalk Labs went along with that at the beginning. But Sidewalk Labs would be the only entity to have control over the data, a fact that didn't sit well with some privacy experts and civic leaders who criticized their plans. So in response to this, Sidewalk Labs decides to create an urban data trust, which will consist of all of the parties involved in creating the Start City, not just Sidewalk Labs, but Waterfront Toronto, the provincial government, federal government, and all of the companies who are gonna be delivering the tech, the IT companies, et cetera, to pull this together. That would have been fine, but when they announced it at a board meeting, they said, and of course, we will encourage all the companies to de-identify data at source, but we have no control over what they do. In effect, we can't make them do that. And the minute they said that, I knew that it was over. Because once you say it's voluntary, it's not gonna happen. Everyone wants personally identifiable data. And that's what was so upsetting to me, that they, on their own, decided to do this, knowing how upsetting it would be to me, and that, in my view, privacy would go down the drain. So I couldn't tolerate that. The next morning, I resigned. The project pressed forward, but continued to face concerns from citizens and city officials. Then in May 2020, in the midst of the pandemic, Sidewalk Labs abandoned development of the smart city. Well, you know, it was part of the COVID world, and they said, we, we just don't think this is going to proceed. Everything has changed. It was, it was nonsense. They just didn't know how they were going to do this in a way that protected privacy and delivered services. And remember, Waterfront Toronto was the body that was running all of this. And all of a sudden, Waterfront Toronto is saying, no, no, we're with Anne Kavukian on this. You must de-identify data at source. And they're saying, how are we going to do that with these companies? And it was, I think it was just became such a mess for them that they felt it was easier just to back out. 
Smart cities will eventually be built in Canada, but Anne urges us to decide carefully if we want a city of surveillance or a city of privacy. I'm on the International Council of Smart Cities, and I can tell you, all of the smart cities coming out in the Far East, Dubai, etc., they're all smart cities of surveillance. They know exactly what you're doing, where you're going. It would be a nightmare for me to live in a city like that. And, you know, one of the things I had said to Sidewalk Labs early on is, let's develop a model, smart city of privacy, that we can then offer to others. We, you know, um, Bill Gates wants to build a smart city in Florida. We can approach him and say, look, we've got the perfect model for this, and it protects privacy. It's a total win-win. I think we can still do that. We have to insist upon privacy being embedded into the smart cities. Otherwise, it will be a smart city of surveillance. And everything you do, all of your activities, will be tracked, surveilled, the data exchanged with third parties unknown, unknown that you haven't consented to. Nightmare. We want to live in freedom. Privacy forms the foundation of our freedom. We have to do this. We can do this. We just need the will to do it.